ready for top eight. Yes, we've sir. Got a, we've got a graphic, don't we? We've got a graphic. Oh, no, we got a match instead. That's what we can hit you with. We've got Louis Jesus and Josh Thin Gamer. A couple qualifiers. Uh, Louis Jesus surmounting the number one seed with his uh, Wii Fit trainer. Meanwhile, Josh Thin it. While well, most known for Rob, he's been playing mostly, I guess, not only in this bracket, but in plenty others. So we'll have to see how it goes. It's an interesting way to say the ages, but also looks just straight up like this man is thinking about Pyra's you know what. So um, <laughs> this is a this is an interesting matchup, right? Because Louis Jesus wants nothing to do with interacting in terms of trying to get set up. And Mithra has every single bit of Mash's Paradise going on. So you can just bum rush down, stay in Louis Jesus' face. And anytime Louis Jesus tries to get set up, you can try and make him feel uncomfortable. But I do like the fact that Louis is actually playing in center stage rather than trying to hold the corners because you can't do that in this matchup. Yeah, no, Pyro will just, like, she'll run up and down tilt, and you just have to hold that. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to play Wii Fit's game, you can try to utilize uh, deep breathing, get that as many times as you can, and utilize some really surprisingly good scramble options to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mithra. Pyra is a little bit of a different story. Pyra, you can play the ledge a little bit more, because you don't have to fear Blazing Edge. <laughs> blazing Edge is not as good as it seems. No, no, right? no, no. Blazing Edge may not... Well, I mean, Blazing Edge is pretty solid, but that down air has privilege. That move makes you not want to poke your head above the ledge. Fair. That, it, so, that, it, I mean, that might as well have been a fair, too, because all of our moves look exactly the same. That back air is going to take that sock out. Oh, yeah. Every day of the week it will. But reciprocated with the deep breathing F tilt, that move... I mean, we can talk about Pyra's, uh, Pyra's uh, individual buttons, but, man, we fit F tilt... It kills for <laughs> volleyball, <laughs> medicine ball, so whatever. soccer ball. I'm gonna save soccer you. Ball. I'm gonna save you before they come at you. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> ball. ball. It, it is a ball that has been smacked. It, I, it, the header is such a good option from ledge, but the frame data, like we said, is just so good. Uh, toast on eggs. I'll never unhear that. Uh, I saw. I heard somebody say it before, and I will always say it now. <laughs> oh man! Thank you, Twitch chat, for all of these individual good. Uh, good sayings. That was for, you. For that was you guys. <laughs> that yeah, was me and Joseph that said it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sakura, You're for bless for air. That move is so strong. <laughs> Toast on eggs. <laughs> it's the same as when everybody watches Terry. They're like ramen coke, rising taco. Like <laughs> no, nobody has a legitimate, <laughs> legitimate backing. What they say. Right now, Louis is just trying to play the game. Like he's been, it, it's so hard trying to find your ground. Cause even though you're getting hit, you know, small amounts here and there, only get to 51, you get smacked around. But I mean, take these feet. <laughs> that down air's gonna just completely destroy that sock. Yeah, Louis has only really gotten a chance to actually scrap when he has deep breathing, and which is why it was so slow. Like he needs so. that to be competitive. And Jonathan said, "Stop." Yeah, I'm. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity to use the replay controller. So, uh, that last stock there, right? Whenever you're playing as this character, we're gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Oh no, we're gonna go back a few frames. We're gonna go back maybe 10 frames there. 180 frames. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna play and we're gonna pause right here. Bad juju. This whole range <laughs> is immediately covered by one short hop forward air. And then here, two, plenty of room for this character to uh, fade back. So last thing you want to be doing is around this range right here, going straight down. You're right within her distance. So you need to be more like over here before you try going for deep breathing. Otherwise, you're going to get smacked. Yeah, it's why uh, most of the time when we see other Wii Fit players, uh, when they will drop from ledge in order, it, in order to be a little bit safer when charging deep breathing, though... Uh, it's just a natural, can, like, it's a natural habit at that point, right? Yeah, it's, right, it's, yeah. It's not so much just flow chart. It's like, you know, I can normally set up here. I can get myself situated so I can get deep breathing. I can stall. Pyra doesn't let you do that. And that's kind of why this matchup can be very irritating for Wii Fit. Because not only do you get kind of suffocated at the ledge, but you also get suffocated off stage because Pyra has so much kill power that if you're a sub 100 and you get caught accidentally being too close, you might just die. Yet yeah, playing on stage and just it isn't much better, especially with the by uh, the by plat setup. Uh, Mithra can extend combos and extend advantage just so fluidly that it it's hard for Weefit to really set anything up. You have to try yep. and adjust your game plan on the fly, whether or not you see Pyra's more 
floaty uh, offense and her massive range, or whether or not you're dealing with Mithra and her constant suffocation. Like, it's it's tricky. Yeah, you're switching. You're switching up from a brawler uh, like setup based character to just a brawler. You can't afford to fight uh, for too. You can't afford to wait for too long. You actually have to be willing to swing at Pyra and Mithra. But that, like, you have to do it in a smart way. You have to make sure that your every situation you go in is backed up by a good decision with the defensive habit that you can go back to. So when you see Louis constantly going to center stage, he's not going to die. And But here, when he gets that ledge trap finally set up, finally gets to close out the first stock. If I'm him, though, I'm going right back to center stage just like before, like this, and staying put. Yeah, Jocelyn Ben has been been showing throughout not only this set, uh, but also in previous sets, he wants to counter hit. And it works out there, but he ate 78 for doing so, just trying to recklessly throw out these prominent revolts and stuff Louis before uh, the lead gets too big. Yeah. Getting course. impatient like that is only going to get you killed with how explosive not only Louis Jesus, but we Fit Trainer can be. Like, oh man, that was all cross stage with that forward air. That was just good on Louis, too, to capitalize on the damage where he could. Like, it's not so much extra credit, it's just making sure getting, like, I I don't like to use the term extra credit too much because it's just basically trying to hold advantage while you're, being, like, while I have a stock up. That's a good spot right there. Hold center stage, get that uh, sun salutation set up. It's a great bait tool. You smack somebody away, you can get that kill and get the heal back. Like, Louis approaching this well, even though there's been quite a few situations where jo Justin kind of made him feel uncomfortable, but it hasn't really succeeded the same way that game one did. And what a challenge off the ledge. Like, Louis has been really picking his spots, like, super well. In a, in a game one where he was trying to find the proper ways to outspace Pirate defensively, he's now flipped the script and said, hey, what if I try and outspace her offensively? Get in her face a little bit. Try and uh, stuff out some of these slow, or not exactly slow, mm -hmm. but more uh, individual buttons compared to Mithra. Because that's yep. a, unfortunately, weak dash attack on Punish. And go, also, you saw a second ago the, the way that Louis decided to go ahead and get that deep breathing. Much safer spot and covers the ledge. That should be pretty much it at this point, but he's not gonna he's gonna be able to get it back. But the ledge coverage again. That is I think the second or third well, the Don't last stock was from a get up as well at the ledge. But it seems like that's a pretty common habit out of Jocelyn. Pretty confident in the idea of going for neutral get up, but you're not gonna want to do that again. Yeah, we fit. Uh, we fits forward tilt, man. That's a. It's a move that comes out insanely quick, and even without deep breathing, it just. <laughs> he threw it out early, but. <laughs> and I get. Acted for long enough. I get why you do that there too, right? Because if you go back to that situation here too, actually, it's gonna leave this spot. But over there at the corner, even right here, actually, you can see it. How he covered. It was exactly the same setup. He set himself up at roll distance, so he baited him out of the idea of going for roll. Then he covered the short hop jump, charged the sun salutation. So what does that make you do? It makes you think sun salutation is gonna hit you on roll get up after you got thrown uh, a forward air you went. So you just neutral get up in front of him instead. He did it the exact same times, two times, and he got into his head. Second verse, same as the first, and if it hits once, why not twice? Yeah, <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me thrice? No, he does commit to the roll getup, knowing that the uh, spacing Louis Jesus has been doing is a little bit fake. Like, he's standing at roll distance without the intent of actually covering roll. Yeah, fool me thrice, you better learn some new defensive habits. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty much, all you, pretty much all you got going for you. And now now for Louis, too, you did that same setup twice. Uh -oh. You died yeah, you died to that as Jocelyn, as Jocelyn. So what do you do? You're probably going to get way more aggressive off ledge now, and Louis probably going to adjust to that. And this game is really won or lost on ledge. Like, whether... Whether or not uh, Josh or Louis is getting up, like, those habits and those individual moments are really going are really what's selling the set and right now louis ability just to condition then immediately punish neutral get up has won him Look, most of those unfortunately that one notwithstanding all footstools are intentional they, 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 no, no matter what oh, yeah. ask, ask somebody later yeah yeah no, i definitely planned for that but i mean planned or not you got that footstool you had a nice lead at the start too and uh louis just started running it back so that was actually a pretty crucial moment for justin to actually get that stuck and now it seems like like, these two play so different based on who has the lead. Like, that's a pretty common factor for a lot of players, but it really is so heavily based on who controls the lead right now. Like, Louis needs to hold center stage like you said all day. I mean, this whole set, and slowly rack up that damage because playing at the ledge right now, your, your trade windows, and Justin is going to be swinging. <sighs> but that is much of a deficit. Like, it's it's a lot more difficult for WeFit just to 
continuously hold advantage. He needs something like that. These big jump combats really got him into, got him the percent window that he needed to suddenly to not feel nearly as pressured. Oh, for sure. But a uh, big reason why I pointed that out is because you saw that back air right there, right? If he right. was fighting him at the corner, that back air might have been death or he would have been next to the blast zone. But because he took it at center stage, he got the 80 and he was able to get back to the stage with enough room off stage to change up his defensive options. So that way he wasn't stuck. But there, that doesn't matter if you're center stage or not, you might have died to that anyways. Yeah, especially with uh, catching the catching him holding in, with which you want to di both Pyra and Mithras back air out, because if you hold in, you're gonna only die like 10 to 15 percent earlier, which is uh, you know it, for a move that already kills at 90, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey, good luck, good luck guessing that on reaction too, because the back air, down air, near everything, they all look exactly the damn same. So it's so hard to react to that on its way in. Uh, well, I think Devil was saying up near, back near. It was so funny. I like I like that ledge trap up to, uh, ledge trap idea there. You put the ball out, you cover any type of approach. Might have maybe lingered in air dodge, forced them down, and then also covered the low recovery. And these deep breathings aren't. Uh, they're always getting challenged by Jonathan. He's never letting Louis just set up for free. But back at F tilt, like it's been clutch all throughout this game. It can take another stock. We'll see if he can make up the difference. Oh, no. and there's there's the back air, Dare Nair. Uh, it, it is everything you want it to be in one package. That move is so strong. It messes with your DI check. Uh, I mean, usually center stage is why you're assuming the down air is coming. So you get kind of mixed up. But either which way, Justin did a good job come that game three. Because game two, he was getting mixed a lot. You see right here, look at the startup of this animation. All right, I was Ooh. a little bit early. Look at it, look at that. Right there, That's <laughs> this still looks like a down air. But what does it turn into? Back air. It throws you off every single time, and that is actually pretty hard to get uh, get used to as you're playing in the match. <laughs> Pyra, you didn't need to do that front flip. That was just flexing. But oh yeah, I forgot hey. this is best of five. I'm so used to <laughs> Zeno <laughs> offline rules. <laughs> that, yeah, I, was, like, I was expecting it was. Uh, that it was just a best of three <laughs> but i mean hey so we get some more games i'm all for it uh right now we saw it with game two louis is able to adjust he was able to hold a good lead he mostly won from ledge trapping he needs to be able to get that nice big damage he gets off of the center stage play from before now to find himself one of those near up smashes or win at the ledge again otherwise it's just josh josh Shathin's game yeah like just in terms of raw like crunchy numbers like my, um Myra, Pithra, whatever you want to call them. I will they never don't... call them either. <laughs> okay, understood. This is this is the audience. <laughs> I, I want to educate. I want I want people to learn better. And that, there's that. <laughs> there's that. For, look, one, one way to educate yourself is never be near the ledge when you're fighting against fire. That four is gonna blow you up. But yeah, uh, the Aegis, I'm cool with that. Uh, Beyblades is kind of coming gone. But uh, ooh, no. It's funny. Oh, you still had your jump. Oh, okay, I thought that the jump was gone from Louis. That was pretty. That was gonna be pretty solid time on the down air from Josh. Yeah, but it's like to to return from the tangent. Like it's there's almost no reason that uh, Mithra or Pyra really should feel challenged in center stage. You have the extra range or the extra speed. It's always up to Luigi Jesus to try and push the initiative. Agreed. Especially it when he's at such a huge deficit. But it just never like all of his challenges get either stuffed or whiff punished. Like, it's it just. It's not it just working. sucks because what your main your main win condition as we fit is being able to force people to play your game, and you can't do that in this game in this matchup. You want to you want to be able to comfortably sit at ledge. You want to be able to comfortably reverse edge guard people, and you want to make it so when you do decide to approach, you have backup between sun salutation and such. You can't do that here. You get pressured. You get hit by toast on eggs. Like it's just it's so hard, and you want you have to basically fight that brawler matchup I was saying before in center stage to get your dubs and then move forward. But from the looks of things in this matchup, this matchup just looks very atrocious for a uh, Wii Fit trainer in, in like trying to find that win condition. Yeah, with the only big uh, benefit is- uh, Oh my um, god. You had to do it to him, Josh, but he closes out the stock with yet another up air. And yet, Louis tried to challenge. He tried to challenge on the way down. Uh, I mean, what See, else are you going to really do except for look for some big Hail Marys that so, aren't there? I'm, I'm going I'm to show some people. So that first back here, I mean, down there, was for actual business. This second one, for 
content. <laughs> so <laughs> you didn't need to do the second one. You could have just followed up, forced him to the ledge, but you ended up getting him off to the high point anyways. That was a really solid Ready play from, uh, from Josh. Man, it's, man, it was quite the, it was quite the experience trying to see such how an awkward character like we fit uh, explores new matchups because she can either do really well or really terrible. And her edge guardings isn't bad, which is what would make you think that, oh, maybe, like, maybe she does have, uh, we fit does have some stuff, but Josh then just shows them, yeah, well, you can edge guard me with, and you have good edge guarding flow charts, you're just gonna never get a chance to use them. Yeah. So I'll be on stage and I'll win neutral every time. Yeah, like, especially with a matchup where normally the best way to beat Myra, uh, I almost said Myra, Mithra Pyra is forcing them off stage, kind of abusing their like relatively mediocre recovery, using Sun Salutation to bait them to go low, and then you could catch them at the ledge. He did that really well game two, but afterwards you never got him off stage. That was a big thing. It's just that every single time Josh realized you were trying to fight him at center stage, spacing was immaculate. It was next to, right. there was a very minimal amount of time that Josh actually spent a disadvantage, which is not easy to do in that matchup with a giant ass sword that's coming your way like that. And even the fast sword from uh, from Mithra just stays in your face. Like I said, Master's Paradise, just go ahead and get that big green button ready. Just sit there. I'm gonna keep doing this. I've done this skit a few times now, but you just keep, you press that, you press that right there. And then you go ahead to get yourself a PGR spot. I'm telling you, the character's yeah. good. <laughs>